Well, hi there. This is Bill Prankert, and I'm here with great news. It's better than good. It's great. I was reading in Scripture. Um, I read, read in um, 1 Samuel chapter 30, one of my favorite stories. It's about David and his men coming home to Siglag. And most of you know the story, but the history is basically they, they lived there with their families. They were being blessed. Everything was going well. But then there was a battle. They had to go out and fight, and they were really obeying God. They were doing what God wanted them to do. And uh, so they get out there, and uh, uh, they fight. They win. They come back. They, they walk several days. They're tired. And they come home, and they find out while they've been out, doing the battle and fighting for God and obeying God, the enemy had come and destroyed everything. Destroyed their homes, taken their families, taken their possessions, they lost everything. And you know, I, I'm watching now, and this has always been the tactic. Um, when you step out and you obey God, the enemy comes against you. All hell comes against you. And if he can't get you, he will attack those that you love and that you care. You know, either the wife or the husband of the one who's ministering or their kids or whatever. And uh, the things that are very precious to you. And that happened to David. And bad things happen. The scripture starts by, so it happened. And, you know, stuff happens. Bad things happen to good people. And it's not that... Um, you know, what happens to you is how you react, how you respond uh, to those things. And their first response was they cried. They cried till they couldn't cry anymore. And then the response of the loyal men was, let's kill David because it's his fault. We were following him and that wasn't good. But the Bible says David encouraged himself. He, he encouraged himself. How do you encourage yourself when the whole world's falling apart and and the things that you care so much about are being taken or lost or, or uh, you know, uh, destroyed uh, before your eyes. Well, you don't encourage yourself by dwelling on that and talking about that and looking at that. The scripture says that David said, I will look, lift up my eyes on the hills. He said, I know where my help comes from. My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. And what David was saying is if God's big enough to make heaven and earth, he's big enough to fix that. He got so encouraged as he thought about how big God is. Because no matter how big your problem is, God's bigger. And he said, God, shall I pursue the enemy? Because when you get encouraged, you want to go. You want to fight. When you're discouraged, you want to give up. And so God said, yes, pursue him. And then David said, good question. If I pursue him, will I win? And God said, yes, you will win. You will overtake the enemy. You will have everything restored. And not only did David and his men have everything restored that they lost, but they plundered the camp of the enemy and they ended up with far more than they ever had. That's a good word for you. This is a season of restoration. If you read Joel chapter 2, when it says, It shall come to pass afterwards, and I'll pour out my spirit upon all flesh. Before that, God promises that for his people, there's going to be a season of restoration. I believe this is your season of restoration of your health, that you're going to be healed. This is miracle season for you. Restoration of finances, restoration of family. I believe the prodigals are coming back. Marriages are going to be put back together. Miracles are happening today. God is a God of restoration. We take the limits off him today. And we say, God, we believe. If you could do what you did for David, then you can do it for me. God loves you. He cares about you. And I, in Jesus' name, I speak blessing and decree restoration over you. I hear provision coming. I hear healing coming. I hear breakthrough coming. That's really good news. So why don't you start rejoicing today in the goodness of God and the fact that in the world filled with bad news, we've got good news God's a God of restoration. God bless you.